What's going on guys, I'm Jody. This is Inspire Woodcraft. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make these shims that are the same thickness as your saw blade. Now I know that sounds really goofy, but I've spent all day trying to figure out the secret recipe to getting this right. Now I know it seems like a silly thing to make a video about, but in my last video, I showed you guys how to make perfect half laps on the table saw without marking or measuring or anything else. And the secret to that was this little wooden shim. Now this one happens to be set for the kerf of the blade I was using, a flat bottom blade. Uh, since then I have put in a new blade just to show the people that watch that. There's no camera trickery going on here. We're gonna make a brand new shim and we're gonna put it to use. Now why do I need this shim to begin with? Well, you'll see a little bit later in the video or you can watch the other one but this is going to help me offset for certain applications at the table saw when I need to offset just a blades thickness and I can't necessarily measure that in fact if you've noticed there's been a trend in my videos lately where I've said to stop measuring and use things around us let's make a shim all right, so first things first, I wanna use hardwood to begin with. Now, I'm gonna use these two pieces here. Um, I already used them once earlier just to in my test pieces, so I'm gonna rip these down. It doesn't really matter how wide we go, but somewhere around two inches or so is what I'm comfortable with, and you'll understand more of what that means here in just a second. So I'm gonna go ahead and rip these down, and then when I'm done, I'm not going to move my fence. Now, if you saw the video where I showed you guys how to edge joint on the table saw with just a strip of plywood, this is gonna be a very similar technique. So I haven't moved my fence. I'm gonna bring this guy in here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna run them through like this. I'm gonna be holding on and pushing both of them and that saw blade is just gonna cut right through the middle here. All right, now I'm gonna take this piece out. This is the piece that we're gonna pull our shim out of. And I'm going to spin this one around. So now my cut edge that I just cut over here is now facing the blade. Now I'm simply going to slide this one into that little notch right there and I'm gonna run it through. So I don't want it hanging up on the outside of that. I literally just wanna drop it right down inside of here and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna cut them both at the same time. Now I'm gonna get the cross cut sled out and we're going to shave this shim off and I'm gonna show you exactly how this works. All right, now I'm not gonna show you guys exactly how to make these joints. I'm probably going to speed this up because there's already a whole video dedicated to it. I just wanted to show you that it in fact did work. So I'm probably gonna speed this up and then we'll see how the joint fits so that we can see that our shim did indeed work. All right, so this is the piece that I just cut. You can see all the tiny little ridges in there, hopefully, and this is our mating piece. That's pretty darn good, if you ask me. And that is, hopefully this is all coming through on camera, that is basically half of our half lap. Pretty cool. So that's literally all it took to make these shims. Again, using our saw blade as our reference. I don't know why I didn't think about it earlier in the day. I tried measuring and gauging and setting up things and finding stuff in the shop that was the right size and nothing would work. And finally it dawned on me, use the blade itself as the kerf and figure out how to make it work that way. So if you make these, make sure that you have a thin kerf shim if you're going to be making things with a thin kerf blade and of course a full kerf shim if you're gonna be using a full curve plate. I have a feeling you're gonna see a lot of these being used here in the next few videos. That's all I got for you guys today. Hopefully this helps someone out there. Thanks so much for watching this video. We'll see you guys in the next one.